probably be easy when you can just die. Whoa, I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video. Where today we're going to be taking a look at a figure that has long since evaded me for the past 15 years, and I finally managed to get this sucker on eBay. And that figure is the Marvel Legends Toy Biz uh, Fearsome Foes box set Rhino. So I own all the other figures in the box set. Uh, technically, no, I don't. But now I own Rhino, so I own all the villains in the box set. And here's Rhino, this crazy freak. Excuse me, I found this guy on eBay. Let me show you here. I got this new display base here. It's like a, it's like a curved piece of uh, construction paper thing. You can see my Game Boy over there. Whereas before, I just had that, you know, piece of cardboard that you could see the big fold in the center of it. But now this way, you do get shadows still, but it doesn't look, it looks like it's one whole piece. Let me know if you think this display base looks better than the, the past one. So here's the face. Take a look at the face first. The face on this guy. Pretty angry, pretty big face. Why does this guy have such a big face? Why are his teeth so white, you know? Kind of jealous. He looks like some kind of barbarian, and he has white teeth. Like, does he go to the dentist or what? See, he's got the rhino there on the side. You can see all this cool, like, texture and detailing on his body. A lot of good texture. I like that it's also a somewhat kind of random. It is a little bit symmetrical here on the chest. Like, you can see those lines. Some of them are symmetrical. They're, they are symmetrical, but they also look a little bit random in spots. So he's got on the legs here. The fingers. All the fingers are individually able to move, which that's pretty good. He even has, like, the little, uh, little divots in design on the fingers. On the arms here as well. On the elbow, on the back, everywhere he's got those, like, that design, it looks, actually looks kind of symmetrical, you know? I thought it was, like, random spots. Now, kind of his random spots here, because you see these lines, they don't match up there, but some of them look a little bit symmetrical. See there? He's got completely, like, flat back. I, I like that, that's nice. You can see, like, the divots here in the joints, where, unfortunately, these joints are ratchet joints. Like, they're not, you know, your regular, like, smooth joints. You can see, like, the peg holes on his body. You can see, like, the pegs where, like, the, the joints bend. You can see them on the legs, too. Whereas all the other ones, they obviously don't have that. But, to me, you know, it's not a nitpick. That just kind of, you know, kind of differentiates it, showing that, yeah, these have joints. Deal with it, you know, kind of thing. The horn also has a little bit of, a little bit, um... i bend his knees to get him close to the camera. Th that horn's a little bit crooked. I tried uh, boiling it and heating it up, and I couldn't bend it. So you see, they're a little bit crooked. I tried uh, bending it after, like, boiling it and stuff, and it... It just went back into place. It didn't stay permanent, you know? Um, excuse me. He had he has two separate horns there, as you can obviously tell. The big horn and the small one. I wish the horn was bigger. I feel like the horn is a little bit too small. Maybe that's how maybe that's how big it is. But, you know, really good looking figure. This is the one of the three uh, Toy Biz Rhino figures. And in my opinion, this is the definitive Rhino. Toy Biz did, or Hasbro also made their Build-A-Figure Rhino Wave, which I think that Rhino looks pretty awesome. I just prefer this one because, you know, obviously I'm biased towards Toy Biz and Sculpt Everything's better on this guy. But also, even if I did like the other figure a lot, I wouldn't want to have to, you know, either buy all the figures. It's something I wouldn't care about. Or try, you know, getting scammed on eBay trying to buy all the big Build-A-Figure pieces. That figure would end up costing, like, probably 200 bucks to build it. And this guy it cost me, like, $30, $40. I think it was, like, 30 or 40 I don't know. Around that price. Like, $35, let us just say. And so I was able to get this guy. Obviously, you could get this guy in a box set for like, you know, $50 back in the day. Like $50 around that price, $45, you know, whatever. But I was able to get this guy for like $30. Bucks. It obviously is like three times more expensive than what he would have been in the box set. But I'd rather pay like $30 bucks for a premium figure than have to spend like $200 to pull, put the figure together myself, you know. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to go grab those other rhinos. So here we have all three rhinos. They're all way too big to fit on this display base together. So there are the three rhinos there. You know, you have the uh, Spider-Man Classics Ultimate Rhino. You have the um, Spider-Man Classics Regular Rhino. And then you obviously have the Fearsome Foes Rhino. So they're all way too big to show on camera. I got these other two ones as a kid. Let me set them aside really quick. So, you know, this guy, let's compare each of these to Rhino. This guy... I really like the color on this one. I like he has the shoulder pads and like these bracelets and anklet things, whatever those are, like those cool things. I like that it looks kind of more like a battle armor where this looks more like, you know, your classic vanilla rhino. The head sculpt wise, I think like I like the texture of this guy's head sculpt a little bit more. It's a little bit more aggressive. But the face scale is pretty big. I don't really like this guy's face too much. Like his, I don't know, the face just looks kind of weird to me. Come on. The face just looks a little bit weird like... 
like the color on the face like it looks too like i don't know what it is like glossy or like something looks like something just looks weird maybe it's because mine is dirty or something but like the glossiness on the face makes it look kind of like fake i guess the face design it looks good but i don't know just like the paint app on it like the like it's like way too glossy see how the body isn't glossy but then the face looks the face looks almost wet which is kind of weird so then we've got the ultimate rhino which mine is a custom where i customized legs as the original one his legs were just stuck in like those positions where i obviously modified them so you can kick the legs up i'm gonna probably go back and use some clay to patch these up but comparing these two rhinos their faces look very much good like this face looks very like matte like a face should you know very angry looking this obviously is designed to be more like a robotic kind of looking body, whereas this is, you know, like a guy in a big suit. Where they both look good, this rhino is taller than him, but because I did my custom customizing to it. This one obviously has a gimmick, and the articulation fortunately had to suffer because of that. I think it's a very good, it's ultimate rhino, so I don't feel like it's fair to compare these guys design-wise, because they're completely different designs going for different purposes, you know? But, move my camera back to where it was here. But this rhino looks pretty sick. In my opinion, this is the definitive rhino. Um, the other two Toy Biz rhinos are kind of kind of meh. To me, this feels very much like a toy kind of thing. Where it came with this awesome display base, which I think I got this at a yard sale maybe. I don't remember. Because I don't remember ever having his display base. But I think this is a cool rhino. This is more like a toy, you know, like for a kid to play with kind of. Where this is more like a collector's piece, you know. Obviously, it's a toy too, but it's more like, you know, it, it's targeted towards collectors as well. Whereas this guy, again, has a gimmick, so it's kind of, like, toy-esque. I think it's pretty good. It's a different design, so I don't really feel like it's com fair to compare these two guys. Because this obviously ultimate. This is, like, cla cl classic kind of rhino. But regardless of what your prefer preference for rhino design is, this is my favorite rhino. Like, this is, like, you know whenever you get, like, a new figure or something, you think, like, yeah, this is the best one in my collection. This is my favorite. It's not my favorite figure, but... This is definitely, in my opinion, the definitive Rhino. The sculpt-wise, everything. I do think the Build-A-Figure by Hasbro is really good, too. And I think it's kind of steep competition for Rhino. Or, yeah, I don't think I don't think that works. It's like, steep competition. No, it's just competition. Um, I think that's, like, the only contender that could, like, actually compete with this guy. But, and it's, unfortunately, it's a Build-A-Figure, so you have to, like, get scalped on eBay to build it or buy all the figures that you probably don't even want, you know? But I'm so glad I've got this guy, and feeling the weight of this guy, he's actually pretty heavy. We can take a look at another one of my, like, I think possibly, oh crap, figure just fell off my shelf there. Oh, come on, dude. I keep putting the thing, keeps rolling off. So this is my, I think this is my biggest figure in my collection. Also, Beetle is pretty big too, but we stand that guy. I also got this guy on eBay around Christmas time. And these guys are pretty good size-wise. Weighing them, I think they're they actually feel like the same weight. They're both, they're not like heavy, heavy, but for figures, they're pretty heavy for figures. You know, there they are. Pretty good scale. Obviously, this guy would be taller if he was like standing up straight. But the scale on these guys is really good, really consistent. You know. Also, if you want to take out another figure here, what's near me? I've got the Spin Kick Spider-Man right here. Compare the Spin Kick Spider-Man to this guy. And the scale feels pretty good, very, very good. Like you know, the height, the height difference is, you know, pretty good to me. That seems pretty, pretty normal. I won't stand up straight. Yeah, the scale wise, that seems really, really good. Like, like his arm is like bigger than both the Spider Man's thighs. Like his leg is the size of his torso. That's pretty good. Very consistent head sculpt. Looks very, very good. As Ryan is supposed to be like a big, monstrous kind of, kind of freak, where you know Spider Man is supposed to be your skinny little guy, which I feel like the scale works perfectly. Um, also, let's use Hydro Man. Hydro Man's a very infamous figure here. So there's Hydro Man as well. They're about the same height, but Hydro Man has his display base to compensate for it. But yeah, so this Rhino is the best. Best Rhino. Let me, let me know if you agree this is the best Rhino, because this is the best Rhino. So let's go over his articulation. The head rotates all the way around. He can look down a bit. Can look up pretty good as well. Rotates all the way around the arm, goes up all the way, rotation in the upper arm, single bend in the elbow, which, you know, Toy Biz, Toy Biz does that with figures that are super, uh, super buff right here, like Venom here, Spider-Man Classics Venom. He also has the single bend in the elbow, because, you know, they don't want to mess up with the bicep sculpt. It would look very awkward if they tried making, you know, double jointed, so that's excusable to me. Rotation here in the wrist, he doesn't have a hinge, unfortunately, and all four of the fingers here move on their own. That's pretty good. The thumb doesn't move, but you get four finger movement. 
He has a Bulgin in the torso, which... Obviously, honestly, Rhino shouldn't be able to move this good. Like, he shouldn't be able to move that good, but Toy Biz went up and at it again. Also, they didn't give a... a um, it's called an ab crunch like they do with obviously other figures. Like I've got Carnage here from the Fearsome Foes box set. You know, it's a very aggressive ab crunch like Toy Biz is used to, is uh, known for as well, or that's what they have. This guy, gave, giving him ball joint, I feel like works better. Because having an ab crunch, I feel like we just break up this really good sculpt here. But either way, rotation here in the waist. The legs kick up pretty good. They don't really go back much. He can almost do the splits. Like, holy crap. He should not be able to do that, but he can almost do the splits. Rotation here in the upper leg. Double bend in the knee. Very, you can hear that clicking there. The foot goes forward and back. Doesn't really move too much. Doesn't have ankle pivot or anything. And the toe moves up pretty good and doesn't go down. Goes up pretty good as well. You know, so, in my opinion, this is the best Rhino figure ever. This is the definitive Rhino. But either way, that's enough for this review. I'll put a link in the description, actually, to my reviews of both of these suckers here. And so, yeah, that's about for all for this. Uh, let me know what you think about this figure. Let me know if you think this is the best Rhino as well. For me, this is the best Rhino ever. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Wow.